falou que é, pode, pode me levar de volta de novo para o Brasil. Eu não acreditei, claro. Mas então eu, eu, eu falei para ele que eu vou fazer tudo para ajudar ele em especial. Nada, não vou tentar de é, caminhão para a Inglaterra para arrumar um, um, um negócio com um, um jornal particular para chegar lá em, uh, em, em, em Barbados e nós vamos chegar a bordo teu, nesse barco para, um, para filmar você e deve ser nós vamos chegar com tua ex-mulher e teus, teus dois filhos uh, australianos e também e quando você foi preso pelas autoridades bazares, o que, que você sentiu naquela hora? Bom, deixa eu continuar com a história, né? É a melhor maneira para deixar todo mundo contente. Que negócio foi esse que você se inseriu agora, que ele propôs para você? Ele falou explicitamente? Não, ele estava querendo chegar lá no, no barco. Imaginar alguém aqui em particular chegar um, um, uh, um filme sobre o sequestro, um livro também e estava pensando de, de ser milionário com, com todo o trabalho dele, né? Ele, ele falou, além de tudo, que além do dinheiro para nós, vai ser dinheiro suficiente para você também, para viver tranquila. Qual a possibilidade de você estar Bom, eu, eu, estava, eu comecei cheio de raiva para eles, mas logo mais, quando, logo depois eu estava pensando, e come, começou assim. Ele arrumou outros dois para ajudar ele. É um, um time super forte, super, super legal. É, que eu estava com, com grande chance para, para voltar ao Brasil. Eu estava com meus advogados me avisaram. Eu estava com grande chance porque muita coisa foi feita muito legal. Você pensa em pedir garantias à polícia para você para evitar que você sofra outro sequestro desse? O okay. quê? Você pensa em pedir garantias à polícia brasileira? Não, não, eu não vou pedir nada disso. Não. Eu, 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 estou, eu estou aqui em Brasil, graças a Deus. E eu não vou pedir a polícia. Mais um, mais um. Não, 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 por exemplo, quando eu, eu, eu cheguei para ajudar dois marinheiros lá em, em Praça Mauá uma vez, quando eu cheguei a pôr um barco só para tomar uma cervejinha com eles, estava uma loucura. E, e, dizendo que eu, o, porque eu não fui, fui preso naquele mesmo momento. Eu... federal Dá uma me avisou que, que eu tenho, tenho que chegar na, na delegacia em Avenida Venezuela hoje mesmo. E eu vou chegar já já. Me dá um abraço. 
Ronnie, how does it feel to be back in Brazil? It feels just fantastic. <laughs> Did you ever doubt that you would make it back here? Uh, doubts entered my mind, but I, I attempted not to entertain those doubts. What were, the, what were the worst moments, Ron? At what point did you realise what, uh, what was going down? What was going down? I don't know what you mean by well, that. Uh, uh, the abduction and so on. Well, uh, uh, initially when I was grabbed, I, I really didn't know what was going on. I just thought it was some... some uh, I thought it was, might be local people until I heard John Miller speak. Get him in, get him into the van, get him in, get him in, get him in. And they threatened your son, I understand. Uh, that's, that's quite so. Yeah. What, can you tell me how they threatened? What, what yeah. exactly they said? Yes, I can. Uh, he said, that, now look, uh, Ronnie, he said, you can have it smooth or you can have it rough. Either way's okay with us. Um, and before they put the, the gag on me, I said, I want to know all about Mike. Is he, is he going to be okay? Well, I'm, uh, I'm worried about him while you guys are going to do whatever with me. And he said, don't worry about Mike. Mike's with two of our guys, and uh, everything will be OK with him, providing I make a telephone call tomorrow morning. If I don't make that telephone call by 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, I can't guarantee for his safety. And how is Mike now that, now that you're back in Brazil? Oh, as you can see, Mike is, uh, shall we say, over the moon. <laughs> it's been quoted often enough. Were the kidnappers brought to justice? Do you wish to see them brought to justice? Um, yes. Would you like to see them extradited to Brazil to stand trial? Yes, I would. Do you think that's possible? Uh, no, I don't. Can I ask you who paid for your defense in Barbados? Uh, my defense was paid by American friends, Brazilian. I want to live in Brazil and bring up my child as a Brazilian. Can I repeat that question? How, have you been paid any money by any newspapers or publishers because of the not. kidnap? I have not. And do you stand to make any money at all, any, anything in the future out of this kidnapping? Um, that's a very, very difficult question to answer. Uh, there's no way of knowing whether I will or whether I won't. Supposing, for instance, I was to write a story about the whole episode, and there's a strong possibility that I would make some money out of it. So this could be the second book then, really? Uh, well, I'd rather not answer that, because uh, there's, there's no certainty that th this particular episode is another vehicle for another book. Is this episode finished? Has it now finished, really? Well, that I don't know. Everything rests with the Brazilian government, whether it's finished or not. What can they do to you now, Ron? I really don't know. I say everything rests with them. I can't make any dictates with regard to what you they're going to do. Have you talked with them, have you? None whatsoever. I'm, I'm, I'm going to speak today. At, at, uh, I'm going to leave here at half past two to go and speak with the, with the local police chief. These are people you generally report to? Yes, they are. And uh, have they been sympathetic to you in this case? Uh, in general, yes. You received messages from them? No, I've received no messages from them, but uh, the last time my kidnappers appeared over here two years ago, uh, they were promptly rounded up and told to leave Brazil. Ron, do you have any word for Slipper of the Yard? I have no words at all for Mr. Slipper of the Yard, no. Ron, uh, I, I, I sort of maintain a, a negative attitude towards that. Uh, if people want to consider me a hero, that's their prerogative. Yeah. Well, you When, tonight? Yes. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm going to try and hide tonight <laughs> and get some sleep. You may his wife kill us tomorrow. Well, uh, I'm, going Jimmy is a friend of I'm going to a private party tomorrow night. What okay. is the one thing you look forward to coming back here? Meeting this fellow here. And after Mike, you know, any... Uh, after Mike, there's nothing after Mike. Do you think you'll ever make it back to England to live in freedom? 
Uh, as I said a few moments ago, I don't intend to return to England if I can avoid it because I want to live in Brazil with a view to bringing my, bringing my child up as a Brazilian. How do you uh, plan to uh, occupy yourself here now, Ron? Do you earn a living? Uh, well, um, up until the time I was grabbed by the kidnappers, I kept myself well occupied um, looking after this fellow here. Um, I did a lot of voluntary work for friends. So what were 